The Brukenthal National Museum is a museum in Sibiu, Transylvania, Romania, established in the late 18th century by Samuel von Brukenthal in his city palace. Baron Brukenthal, governor of the Grand Principality of Transylvania has established his first collections around 1790. The collections were officially opened to the public in 1817, making the museum the oldest institution of its kind on the territory of modern-day Romania. Samuel von Brukenthal began acquiring the first works for his collection in about 1754 in Vienna. Through his will, Baron Samuel von Brukenthal ordered the opening of the palace as a public museum, his gesture thus enrolling him among the great enlighteners of the age. The palace became a public museum in 1817, known as the Brukenthal Museum, one of the first institutions of its kind in Europe. The museum belonged to the Evangelical Church in Sibiu until 1948. In 1948, the Communist state nationalized the museum and moved 19 valuable paintings to the National Art Museum of Romania in Bucharest. In 2005, the Romanian government returned the Brukenthal Museum to the Evangelical Church in Sibiu and returned the 19 paintings from Bucharest to the museum. The palace itself is the most important Baroque building in Transylvania. Built by Samuel von Brukenthal on the site of two demolished medieval buildings, one of which was inherited by his wife, Sofia Katerina Klonern. The building was built according to the plans of the Viennese architect Joseph Franz Martinelli in the Baroque style. From 1853, the Evangelical Elementary School for Girls operated in the buildings behind. The ground floor was used for commercial premises at Street 19th Century, incorporated in the 20th century, a bookstore, a musical instrument store, fashion and shoe stores were located there, the latter being replaced by the pharmacy La Vulture Rule Negru established in 1494. The pharmacy was closed in 1949, and the facade of the building then took on the appearance of present. In 2012, the publishing house of the Brukenthal National Museum was established. It publishes various works, books, guides, catalogs, albums, brochures, in the fields of history and cultural studies, art and art history, natural sciences, heritage conservation and restoration. In 2019, for example, apart from the scientific journal, the museum published a total of 8 volumes of books, 19 volumes of exhibition catalogues and 2 brochures, of which 5 books, 14 catalogues and a brochure, by the Museum Publishing House. On Sunday, May 26, 1968, a group of thieves entered the museum. Like regular visitors, they hid on the second floor, which was under renovation. At night they came down and stole eight of the most valuable works on display. Anton van Dyck, The Death of Cleopatra, Franz van Meers the Elder, Man with a Pipe at the Window, York Brew, Portrait of a Man, 
Anonymous German, Man in Fur Coat, Christoph Amberger, Portrait of a Man, Tiziano Vecello de Cadore, Eke Homo, Rosalba Carriera, Portrait of a Young Woman, a Miniature Painted on Ivory, and, the most valuable, the Master of the Legend of St. Augustine, Man with a Skull in His Hand, valued at over $25 million, after which they disappeared through the bridge and then through the courtyard of the Reformed Church. The investigation established that the paintings were taken out of the country in a record time of only three days. Four of them were found in America and repatriated in 1998, Portrait of a Man with a Skull by the Master of the Legend of St. Augustine, Eke Homo by Titian, Portrait of a Woman by Rosalba Carriera and Portrait of a Man with a Pipe in the Window by Franz van Meers the Elder. In October 1998, six high-value paintings disappeared from the Museum of Fine Arts in Budapest, the thieves using the same modus operandi as at the Brukenthal Museum. The Hungarian police acted quickly, managing to identify and arrest a group of Italian thieves. Among them was a certain Ciro, who admitted that he also acted in Sibiu, 30 years ago, declaring that the paintings stolen from the Brukenthal Museum were taken out of the country by a Greek businessman, Miscalades, who has businesses with Romanian tractors. 